Maybe if not everyone's familiar with the dynamic energy budget, we could do like a summary or something like. First, for formatting, we can you know tell you very quickly what we're working on, like to get an inspiration for this biological model that is uh, you know about uh, it's a system that is supposed to be applied to any type of living organism. So it's about metabolism, and so we use it as an inspiration, like a biomimicry. We imagine uh, an economic system that would value the process rather than the end product. And, and so for me, when I, I, I hear and I was reading um, uh, Daniel about mutual credit and the limit is reflection of the potential energy. So this, but this idea of spent credit consumed and uh, with the reference to the 80s and 90s communities, for me, I would uh, imagine that um, this metabolism-based economic system would value the action and not the consumption. And it's also the connection and the interaction. But it's, uh, this is what we would value. But we can go back to it. But um, also I'm being in part of a metabolism, the idea of this center from ourselves, which means how can we understand our system or our society from a system perspective and not from, um, for me, it's really to decenter. I mean, I feel that um, if we are a metabolism, you know, we are part, and for me, a metabolism, it means human and environment together. And, and um, then we have to, how can we think about us being part of a system, which means not thinking, it's not a subject object. So how we can how can we still continue to think without being subject? Hmm. In Chinese medicine, they talk about how well they look at everything as like a system within system within system within systems. So like even even the observer, so for example, like the Chinese medicine practitioner, even their observation affects the system of the patient. So would it be would it be yeah. right to look at us as separate from what we're observing i think it, it would be cool to explore that because like it's kind of like what we're doing now the way they the way they learned about um medicine they they weren't allowed to dissect human bodies so they had to just observe everything and that's kind of like what we're doing right like we're not taking things out of the system by being like okay tell me everything we're we're kind of just observing what, via our existences and experiences and from there we're share we're sharing ideas like okay I, I would like to answer something but I'm not sure I, I want to be sure I understood what you said this idea of, the, of you know like uh, that the viewing is part of, I mean, it's already a system and it influences, etc. So but by, I think, documenting on the process and creating this thing, that would be a way to decenter. Yeah. I, I agree that action is it's coming from our, our own position. So that is the view from the inside, like being at the origin of your own egocentric frame. But action is like what breaks us beyond that like when the ant is modifying the pheromones moving the nest like you're contributing to something outside yourself through stigmergy and so when people don't act then they're ruminating purely but then through action and through engagement and attention which is mental action then we can actually not have these like recursive thought spirals so i think like it's why it's like action Imbuing action and like even within the uh, like the or like the metabolic chart that I posted in the channel, um, that's not an org chart. Like those are transformations. The edges are, and then there's like the anapleurotic and catapleurotic, which is like they're they're funny words, but it's like what fills up the cycle and what is draining the cycle. And so if we're just like, well, pour more in, prevent more from leaving, and the <laughs> organism actually dies. So. What is the cycle? And then what are the reactions and the interfaces and the sort of ways that it can be st 
steered and sculpted a little bit. So. But how can we measure the actions if we're so against the measure of action because it feels like capitalistic or something? To measure the action, you can measure the interaction. I'll, I'll give um, a thought before I leave, but but thanks everybody for having me, and I'm, I'm happy to come at times where it works. I think part of the approach there, first off, it is to clarify that through, it's a yes and with measurements. Measurement does not replace the unmeasurable. It's like um, a partially observable system. And so that's like what, um, at, at 37, um, behavioral modeling is about observables. So those are the aspects of the system that are like on chain, in the discord, like modifications of the niche are behavior. And then there's the unobservables. And so that's the direction that we can go towards with the joint modeling of observables and unobservables. And not just say we're trying to maximize the number of emojis that people leave, like not just that sort of naked behavioral engineering, but we could think about consensual engagement with cognitive niches so that people feel how they want to feel, but also certain work has to be done. Thanks everybody and I'll, I'll see you all soon. Thanks very much. Thank very you. Nice yeah, that was Bye. enlightening. <laughs> yes, amazing. Very, very, very interesting. Thank you so much. Yeah. A lot of praise. <laughs>